Hey, Howard, nice, nice to see you. Texas Republican Congressman Chip Roy represents parts of Texas, but also President Trump's base of support. Conservative Republicans who want more border security now. You know what's hard to respond to? It's hard to respond to my constituents at home who are witnessing the theater of the absurd. Explain to the people why we're going to leave this afternoon at 1 o'clock not securing the border. While the latest CBS News poll shows 66% of Americans don't think a border wall is worth the president declaring a national emergency, nearly three in four Republicans think it is. Roy wants the president to keep fighting. The idea of actually shutting down the government over disagreements, in your view, is not a bad thing. No, I mean, I, I don't think we should necessarily seek to shut down the government, per se. I have no problem with us saying, all right, look, we're going to keep debating this. We're not ready to pass this bill. We're heading over to the uh, floor of the House Representatives. Um, everybody knows these votes aren't going to uh, matter in the end. These are all just votes for the record. It's ridiculous. Over a month into the shutdown, Congressman Roy left Washington to visit his home district in Texas, which stretches from Austin to San Antonio. Pleasure to welcome you to San Antonio. We're the a Democrat hasn't won here since the 1970s. We were with him as the shutdown, which caused 800,000 employees to miss two paychecks, came to an end, at least for now. How are you? Good to see you. I thought I was going to stay through the weekend. It looks like we may have to go back and vote. Let me ask a question. Is there, where's a, a TV? I am very proud to announce today that we have reached a deal. And look, I'm, I'm glad to see people getting paid, getting paychecks. They ought to for the work they're doing. Um, uh, critically important. We also got to secure the border. Congress is now negotiating the fate of the border wall with another shutdown looming in just 10 days. Roy, a first-term member of the minority party in the House, has little say in what goes on in Washington. We have a handful of dinosaurs who sit here until their octogenarian years screwing up the country. What can a guy like you even do? Well, I, you know, what are you saying, that being one 435th of one half of one third of the federal seat of power is not being, uh, you know, the king to make all the decisions? That's how our system's designed. I have a voice. I have a voice representing, you know, 800,000 Texans, and I think that uh, we ought to use that voice to, to make the points that we need to make. It makes absolutely no sense to the American people when they watch what happens in this body and they wonder how the people's house leaves them with an unsecure border. What do you want to hear from the president? Well, I want to hear from the president uh, the State of the Union. I want a very honest assessment of what we see at the border. And I want the president to make that case directly to the American people. I think we ought to keep fighting and not blink until uh, we either get it done or, or, or the, the voters get to speak in 2020.